Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler. New York's highest court says redistricting, redistricting maps by Democrats violated the Constitution. Today's decision threatens to spark election chaos and the upheaval could impact your vote. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer is live in our newsroom with more, Marsha. Well, Dana, it's unclear at this point whether New York voters will have two primaries this year, the one scheduled for June 28th, which could include the races for governor, lieutenant governor, attorney general, and controller, and another one in August for congressional races. It remains to be seen whether Senate and Assembly primaries will be held in June or August. It's a mess. This puts a very, very big monkey wrench in electoral uh, machinery uh, for both the primary and the general seasons. That was the assessment of David Birdsell, provost dean at Kane University, after a state judge struck down the 2022 congressional redistricting maps as unconstitutional last month. Today, the state court of appeals upheld that ruling, meaning that a special court-appointed master will have to redraw the lines before the primaries can be held. It's a complicated ruling because it struck down the lines for Congress and state Senate, but did not mention the state assembly or elections for statewide offices, leaving open the question of whether they can go ahead as scheduled on June 28th or whether all the state primaries will be held in August. The ruling was a stinging defeat for Democrats who are counting on the new lines to help them pick up as many as three congressional seats. The court said the lines, especially the congressional districts, were gerrymandered. The lines themselves seem so wacky. For example, the 11th congressional district represents by Republican Nicole Maliotakis had included all of Staten Island and like-minded neighborhoods on the other side of the Verrazano Bridge, like Bay Ridge. It was redrawn, and the conservative Brooklyn neighborhoods were replaced by the heavily Democratic neighborhoods of Sunset Park, Gowanus, and Park Slope. The Democrats are always looking to get a way to get ahead. Staten Island's more part, uh, Republican than Park Slope. It's a disadvantage. Eyebrows were also raised by Long Island Congressman Tom Swazi's district, which under the new map would have gone across Long Island Sound as far as Westchester's Rybrook. New York lost one congressional seat. The new map intended to give Democrats a strong majority of voters in 22 of the state's 26 districts. Right now, Republicans currently hold eight of the state's 27 seats. Well, the Democrats have been hoping that picking up seats in New York would help offset expected losses in other states where Republicans control state government. And as candidates start to campaign for officers, there's nothing but uncertainty about which voters they need to make their case to. Live in the newsroom, I'm Marsha Kramer, CBS 2 News. Marsha, thank you.